Hello dear friends of Let's Plays and welcome to Let's Play The Quest as I promised in my NFC um yeah let's play Well looking back at that game I think it was it was kind of kind of boring to watch because nothing at all happened but as I mentioned in that video it was um it was an opp opportunity for me to get let's playing started again and so I chose a simple game for me to I could complete I could um I could easily finish and yes and now for the quest um some of you might have heard of this game it is an old schoolish dungeon crawler RPG uh, mighty magic style if you remember the old mighty magic games um, like one of my favorite games at all uh, of all times is Mighty Magic 4 and Mighty Magic 5 World of Scene I like very much and um, the reason why I picked this game is well I was um, on my long journeys around the world I uh, took a look at Steam and found it actually because I was looking for some some old schoolish game to play and I didn't want to start with a or start with another DOS box game because I still have a Prophecy of the Shadow running, which is, I repeat, still in progress and will be finished. It's a promise of mine. <laughs> because, uh, you know, as I. Maybe you have seen my German Let's Play of The Art of Murder 3. It had a two years uh, break, so I don't want to repeat that again. Okay! Um. The quest. Some of you might have heard, heard of it, as I said. Um, I figured it had some quite a large fan base in, uh, in uh, all around the web, so um, I, tr I, g I decided to give it a try. I played some five minutes into the games, and I liked it very much. And it was very, very, um, yeah, as I said, old schoolish, and, and um, the gameplay should speak for itself. So. What I'm going to do now is to um, do the character creation. So if you guys are tired of a guy uh, talking bullshit and creating a character alongside, um, just switch to the next part. Um, but um, I actually I wanted to play some more um, quests or some side quests into the game, but it is kind of late here, and so I decided to do the uh, character creation now and. Um, do the first quest or, st do or start the actual game tomorrow morning so I will have to I will get some sleep <laughs> which is kind of necessary for me too it's a let's play I know it's not um, uh, you, you don't always get that much of sleep so because um, yeah I, I I had some problems with the YouTube upload actually but th that's another story okay um, yeah let's let's uh, go to the char character creation then. Uh, start a new game oh okay a few weeks ago, some very disturbing news came from the island of Freymore, a far section of Merson's kingdom. Word is, the governor is missing or sick. The island is in tumult. The mages all prophesy a dark shadow looming over the safety of the kingdom. Majesty, we have received news from the island of Freymore. Governor Hume hasn't been seen for weeks. Some think he's dead. Some think he's gone in secret to a healer because he has some dread disease. The military has locked down his castle. I suggest we send out we send out some of our agents to find what, to find out what's going on. Another thing, Majesty, Serio, your counselor of the Magic Ministry, suggests we need a specific person, a newcomer to the military. He says it concerns an ancient prophecy called the Returning. I was struck by the fear and awe in his voice. Since then, he's gone into a trance and no one can talk to him. I will take his suggestion seriously. Xerius' requests and concerns are quite remarkable. I feel this means much more than the governor's possible sickness. Prepare the newcomer to depart. Immediately. I beg your pardon, Majesty. The newcomer isn't ready. He still needs weeks, maybe months, to conduct himself like a kingdom agent. I must still accept Xerius' suggestion. The wisdom of the old arts instructs his de decisions. If the newcomer is something special, he'll live and maybe some help, maybe of some help to us. Xeria has never been wrong before, but actually, who is this newcomer? Okay, and here we are at the um, character generation screen. Um, well, 
So first, let's um, choose a name. Um, Let's call him Tremere. Yeah, that's kind of an anagram of my um, YouTube account or of my YouTube name. Tremere. Yeah, well, well, not it's not beautiful, but yeah, who cares? Um, let's choose our race. Um, the default race given here is the Etherim. I actually have no choice. Uh, no, 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 no fucking clue which um, race. Uh, which are the characteristics of each single race? Maybe it is explained. I can't remember because when I test played this game, it was just like I picked any race. So change. Ah, oh, there it is. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, let's start from the top. Uh, the Rasvim, also known as the Undead, the Rasvim are capable of becoming fierce warriors or dark mages. They have high resistance to poison and infection, but are vulnerable to spell-based damage. Plus five strength. Plus minus dexter five dexterity, intelligence plus ten, minus five personality. Mostly because they are undead, so people don't like their face actually, and they are kind of ugly as you can see. Plus fifty percent poison resistance, plus fifty percent disease resistance, minus fifty percent magic resistance, unholy word spell. I don't know what that does. Is it explained? No, it is. Okay. Fucking out here. Oh no, okay. The Etherim. The Etherim are natural hunters and have a high dexterity and increased accuracy with ranged weapons. They also have an innate magical ability that helps them harness magical forces. Plus 10 dexterity, blah 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 blah. Yeah, okay, dexterity, melee, blah blah blah. You, we, I know, um, this might be kind of quick, I'm, I'm doing this now, but. I think most of you guys are familiar with uh, what does dexterity mean, what does endurance mean, what does accuracy mean, and so on, so on, and so forth. So, um, yeah, the theory. This race has long been regarded as the most talented in thievery and assassination among all the races of Monaris. They are intelligent, perceptive, have cat-like grace, and are trained in useful thief skills. And I guess this is your. Um, Number one option if you want to play as a thief based character, which um, does make sense when you look at the um, bonuses down here. Minus five strength, dexterity of course, plus intelligence, uh, appraise of course, um, plus lockpicking, disarming, accuracy, and they are not very good against magic. So their magic resistance is downgraded by 30%. The dearth. The dearth are gifted scholars and teachers and they can become the most powerful mages of all the races. While being stronger mentally, they are also physically weaker, so are lacking in strength, dexterity and endurance. This is your mage based character. Minus 5 strength, minus dexterity, endurance, plus intelligence, plus healing magic, mind magic, attack magic, plus 10, and plus 30 magic resistance. Makes kind of sense. They come with a cure light wound spell by default and a burning hand spell. So maybe this is an option to... Um, or maybe this race is an option if you want to play a, um, a battle mage or something like that, but in my opinion the magical bonuses are way too high and um, I will show you. The Nogur. The Nogur are the natural warriors of the race that are trained to fight from birth. They are physically stronger, extremely healthy and have a high resistance to infection, but are vulnerable to magic attacks. Yeah, this makes sense of course. Um, yeah, I will most likely pick this guy. I think I, I printed out a. Yeah, it's not a guide. It's just a small. Um, just a small hint sheet. Yeah. So I think every. It doesn't really matter which race you pick if you want to play as a um, as a battle mage. So, as I'm a player who likes to go all out with melee fighting and um, just have some support on healing magic and maybe a uh, one or two uh, offensive spells, I will most likely pick this guy or this race here, the Nogur. Um, yeah, because their resistances are kind of good. They they. 
lacks some personality and intelligence, but um, a kind of resistance to poison and disease. Um, vulnerable to magic, but that could change maybe. And they come with a plus 10 bonus to heavy weapon. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to stick with this race down. Let's choose it. Yeah. Okay, let's let's pick another portrait because this looks kind of. Oh, let's see what's what's in stock here. <laughs> this doesn't look too good. <laughs> this kind of a golem or something like that. Okay. You look too grumpy. You don't like it. Look like a fierce warrior. Oh, I, I want to be a male, of course. Excuse me. Oh. Did you pick that up? Oh, okay. No. Okay. Yeah, show me some face, man. I. What's that, Jesus on acid? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I like... I think I'll pick this uh, portrait here because... Um, yeah, it looks kind of a paladin style character which would explain the magic I'm planning to use, like healing magic or, as I mentioned, those one or two offensive spells. Skill, select a predefined class. Oh, what's that? Battle Mage? Oh, I can... Ah! I can... I can choose some presets here. Just kind of nice. And I want to play Battle Mage. Is that okay? And I'll modify the... and or modify the primary skill. So, is that all I can choose, actually? Okay, let's just block. Okay, block. How can I confirm? Ah, okay, I can exchange them, okay, so, ah, okay. Um, light weapons, heavy weapons. So. Heavy armor. Should be good. For fighting class. Um, what else? We have block, maybe, maybe some dual wheel? Yeah. Dual wheel. And this tiny guy that printed out um, recently suggests we choose um, uh, protect uh, protection magic. Yeah, there it is. So this should be a light weapon, heavy weapon, block skill, heavy armor, um, dual wield, and protection magic. Okay, here we go. As you arrive, a village man is waiting for you. Welcome, my friend. I'm Brill, a lion servant of King Massant. Hail to Massant! We have been expecting you, although you are a few days late. It seems Massant really thinks the situation of the governor requires immediate attention. Hmm, <laughs> you really don't look like a kingdom agent, but you may learn. You have a new quest, main mission. Okay, this is um, what the character is going uh, is, is is actually telling me, and this is what I can reply, or what can I, or what I can say to him. Why are you here? As head of the Kingdom Agents, Massan's first line of loyal defense, I and a few others have been charged with monitoring events on the island of Framor and providing information to the king. Madras is a small village, so we can work in secret. If only there were more time to train you. The mis mission is perilous. I hope they've chosen the right one for the task. Of course they have. About the village. What can you tell me about your village? Madras is relatively peaceful. It's a pretty town, but the air is noxious and there is some small and there is some small time smuggling. You may want to get involved, but don't let it distract you from your main mission. You can stock up on supplies from the armorer, tailor magic shop and inn. Talk to people, find out what you can. 
these villagers are loyal to, the, to Governor Yume and to King Mursant. Hail to Mursant! About the governor? Any news about the governor? Our worst suspicion is that he's been poisoned by someone who wants to who wants control of Framor, but no one really knows what's been going on. Matras is quite far from far from the capital of this island of Framor. You may find out more in Vastaris, a city far south from here. Just follow the road. The thieves guild there could be a val valuable information source source, but you but you may not be able to find them. You need to attract their attention somehow. No one should know your mission except those in Masan's confidence. Don't forget, as far as anybody else is concerned, you're an adventurer for Barako, even though you don't look like one. Hail to Masant! Hail to Masant! Goodbye. Real leaves. Okay! So this leaves us with our first, um, yeah, village or with a starting point of our journey. As you can see, the graphics are very, very, yeah. I kept very simple, but um, prese presented in HD. I have to admit I had to get used to that style because, um, yeah. In my opinion, they sometimes overdo it with the HD presentation of old school games because in some cases, uh, cases um, pixel art would be better, but I won't complain too much because this game is very, very surprising and I'm looking forward to it. So, I for inventory... Blah, blah blah blah, my items, apple. Mm -hmm. I guess with right click, we can use them. She, yeah, those items are worn. And as I, cho I chose dual, bla uh, dual wield, I uh, wield a club and a cheap sword, cheap sword, short sword, excuse me, now. And of course, some fur boots. No adventure I could go without them. Yeah. So, what's that? Stone skin? I already know that spell. Oh, your storybook. Uh huh. Okay, now I. Ah, okay, your story. This is some kind of diary, I think we have. Yeah, okay. I will read this later on when I start the next part. Yeah, this too, this one too. I am also carrying two healing potions, a small. Um, so manas um, potion, some water, and some apple because I think there's hunger and thirst in this game. Yeah. Uh, okay, I will do the the explanation for all this stuff later on. I just wanted to show you the character uh, creation of this game and then talk a little bit um, alongside. And so I suggest. Um, we'll continue our quest the next time, which will be tomorrow for me, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. I'm I hope it won't be a grind fest, actually. If that happens, I will tell you what I'll do. I, I'm not sure if it's a grind fest, but hopefully not. Hopefully I will ac accomplish this game. I will do my utmost to do it. Um, there won't be a two, day, uh, two years break. Yeah, and so... I am looking forward to enter the town of Matras here and do our first side missions and talk to people and, and, and stuff. So, I see you guys the next time. Until then, bye bye!